Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CybercadSolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to extrude in AutoCAD 3D modeling. Before going to extrude, we should have a closed polyline. So I am going to use a rectangle. So type REC at command prompt and press enter. Now I am going to draw a rectangle like this. Now I want to extrude this rectangle. So the shortcut command for extrude command is ext. Type ext at command prompt and press enter. Now it is asking to select objects to extrude. Select this rectangle and press enter. Now it is asking to specify height of extrusion. How much height? You can use your cursor to pick or you can enter the height at command prompt. Let us say I am giving 5 units. Type 5 and press enter. You can see a object, a 3D object is created. Similarly, we can have a path. Let us say, let us say we have a line over here in Z direction with some five units. So we can use this as a path. So take extrude command again, type ext at command prompt and press enter. Now select this rectangle and press enter to finish the selection. Let us try to take the first option direction. So click on this direction option. So it is asking to specify start point of direction. If you click bottom point first and uh, the top point second, then the extrusion will be from bottom to top. If you pick in the reverse direction, the extrusion will be in the reverse direction. Let us try that one. I am typing undo, take extrude command again and select the rectangle, press enter. Now take direction option, pick the top point first and then bottom point second. Then you can see the extrusion is in uh, the same direction by which we selected points okay then so what is the next option again uh, we will try to draw a path over here so i am taking a line over here with five units in the z direction again one more five units in uh, say y direction i am going to draw a fillet over here with some radius two units you can see this now join these three items using join command now here is a path, I am going to use this path for extrusion. So take extrude command again, type ext at command prompt and press enter. Now select this rectangle as extrusion object and press enter to finish the selection. Now take path option from the extrude options, that is the second option. Click path option, now it is asking select extrusion path. Now select this path which we have just before created and you can see and the rectangle is extruded along that path. Now let us see the tap triangle option in the extrude command. Type ext at command prompt and press enter and it is asking to select the object to extrude. Select this rectangle and press enter to, to finish the selection and take tap triangle option. Just go on to tap triangle option and click on that. Now it is asking to provide the angle for tapper. Let us say I am entering 15 degrees. So type 15 at command prompt and press enter. So if you give positive angle, it will cut down the material along the path of extrusion. So let us see how it comes. I am entering 15 degrees. Now it is asking to specify height of extrusion. Again, I am going to give some five units height. You can see the material is removed in a rectangular block. Let us see with a negative tapper angle. So I am undoing this. Again, take extrude command, type ext at command prompt and press enter. Select this rectangle and press enter to finish the selection and take tapper angle option. Type T at command prompt and press enter. Now we are in tapper angle option. It is asking the tapper angle. I am going to give minus 15 degrees this time so that it will add the material along the extrusion direction. So let us enter it. And then it is asking to specify the height of extrusion. I am again giving five units. So you can see this material, the rectangle block has been added with more material with 15 degrees along the extrusion path. So negative angle will add the material, positive angle will remove the material from the extrusion. So this is how extruding objects in AutoCAD. Friends, if you like this video, please share my video to your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.